Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little bit about the eyewear market and, and Mr. Specs in Europe. So if you can see that clearly, it, it really starts to hurt after, after a while, right? And it, it, you're trying to focus, and you can, and it hurts, right? But that's not what's really wrong in the eyewear market, because you can fix that, right? What's wrong is, is that two-thirds of consumers do not like buying eyewear. They just don't like it, right? The reason for that is, within the process and throughout the process, they're, 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 they're rather insecure. And it starts with the fit, they don't know, I mean, it's, it starts with they don't know their size, right? If, if I go buy a suit, I mean, I, I know my size, so I go into the respective area and then look for suits in my size. People don't know their eyewear size, their, their, their glasses size. So the next thing is they're not 100% sure what suits them, right? How trendy do they want to be? Is the look all right? And, 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 and it ends with medically, they very often don't know what they need either. If we talk to people and they say, well, I have this cylinder, and it's like really complicated, and we say, no, it's not. And, but, but, but so they end up being completely dependent on their, on their optician, and, and, and they end up paying way too much in a process they don't like after all. And, and so that's a problem, and the question is, well, does it make sense solving that problem? Obviously, we want to make people happy, but can we earn money? And yes, it's a very attractive market. It's 30 billion in euro alone. Uh, the top four players in classic eyewear uh, have an average EBITDA of 20%. Now, that's a classic retailer with a 20% EBITDA. So there's really, really high margins in that market. And for us, as a primarily online-driven player, the good thing is the journey into online has only just started. So where can it go? I mean, people were, were pretty unsure about shoes online, and they had the size problem as well, although people knew their shoe size, right? It still was the problem because they varied so much. Anyway, I mean, we're pretty sure that prescription glasses is going to go where all the other consumer categories have gone. We've just started a little later because it might be a little harder, but which, you know, keeps competitors out, which is good. So. Our vision is to become Europe's favorite way and place to buy eyewear. We want the consumers to find the best pair for them, easy and fast, with significantly better prices. The German Consumer Testing Agency has tested us end of 2014 uh, versus all the large offliners. We were completely on par in terms of quality. We were beating most of them in terms of customer service, and they assured us that the saving is between 30 and 50 percent to traditional retail. And obviously, what we also want to do, we offer all the services that you need. Where has that taken us so far? We are the largest online eyewear brand uh, retailer in Europe. We've got more than 2 million customers. We are in over 10 countries. And we do offer that great assortment for fantastic prices. And the way we do that is basically that we combine the best of both worlds. I mean, we have invested in smart e-commerce technology to quite an extent, and we'll talk about that in a second, and we've also combined it with local services around your corner, so you can have exactly all the benefits of e-commerce, the large assortment, the better processes and the better prices, and the local services that, that, that you need, and that, 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 that very often you don't even need, but the trust that you can have that service, right, is what, what drives you into the process. So, Smart e-commerce solution. It's, it's when we started out, it's, it's just, um, just a normal e-commerce shop wouldn't solve all the problems that people had. I mean, it just imagine you would have to find the perfect pair of jeans among 4,000 jeans, right? That's, 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 that's quite a challenge. We have over 4,000 branded eyewear on our site. Um, so the first one is really tweaking what, what might sound simple filters to allow you to find the size and the shape that fits your head and your style and your look. But then, remember, you are still very insecure if you look grand in your new pair of glasses. So we made it very easy to try that out. I mean, you probably all carry smartphones. Just go on www.mrspecs.com, try it out, or DE, that's probably the best, or co.uk, whatever. And just 
pick a pair of glasses that you want to have on your face, take a picture, and then you're there. And you can try them all on, on your face, right? It's super easy. But then, if you're still a bit insecure, we just send four to your home for free. You can try them on, send them back, and then we ship the ones to you that you wanted with prescription lenses. But then we also combined it with local services. We have over 650 partner opticians in Germany, Austria, Switzerland alone. That is, if you compare it to the largest offline brand, Filman, that's just as many service points as the largest offline brand offers in the same region. So the service network that we have is just as good as our largest offline competitor. And, and now we've taken it one step further. We just wanted to bring the full Mr. Specs brand experience and all our learnings that we had into what makes buying glasses more fun and, 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 and gives more of that shopper experience. We brought all of that offline. And what we did is we launched our first store beginning of this year. It's in the middle of a super high traffic location in Berlin. And and we put all our knowledge in there, the way we sorted that, the way that the consumer purchases basically the product online on a pad, uh, but, but, but can try the glasses uh, in the meantime. Then that's all the concept stuff that we put in there. And consumers, frankly, they loved it. And we were blown away by the amount of money that we are making with the store. And, and it's been recognized by the experts as well. And we just got the most prestigious uh, design award, the Red Dot Award. And that was not because it's looking so great. That was because it, that, that, that was for the way that we incorporated our online process and thinking into the offline world. So now that we have a profitable, growing online core in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, we've already started to roll it out in Europe, obviously. So uh, we did that organically and through M&A. We are now in more, uh, in more than uh, 11 countries in Europe. And especially in Scandinavia, we, uh, we grew through M&A to have a core customer base from which we can grow. And because our vision is, and we truly believe in that one strong, trusted eyewear brand, uh, we are just in the last stages of rebranding uh, Lens Store Love Eyewear and Lensit in Norway, uh, Sweden, and, and, and Finland. And uh, we've also done our homework on the, on the back end and IT side. We've integrated all international countries and ent entities into a brand new shop system, back end system. And we are just moving as we speak into a fantastic new warehouse uh, in, in, in Berlin that's got state-of-the-art processes uh, from logistics to lens manufacturing. So summing it up, by putting together the e-commerce smartness with the local services, we are uniquely positioned in the eyewear market in Europe because we accommodated in the premium segment. We got all the Tom Ford, Prada, Gucci stuff, right? We start private label, but we go up very, very high and have that fantastic brand assortment. We have created a very strong brand. In Germany, we are not, I mean, in Europe, we are not only the largest online brand. In Germany, we are already the third largest brand in eyewear retail overall. We got brand recognition for eyewear, uh, for, for, for eye wearers, uh, uh, glasses wearers of, of 75%. Um, we have that multi-channel approach, and it's not easy to copy that from one day to the other. It's not easy to get all those e-commerce processes, right? All the data-driven recommendations. But putting that together with the you know, offline processes is quite hard. We have that done by now. We have that super assortment through the supplier relations that we have built over time. And we've done our homework and have that new technology stack and operations processes. So do we solve the problem of the guy that we saw in the beginning? We think, yes, uh, Trusted Shops is the biggest customer review uh, uh, service in, in, in Germany and Austria, Switzerland, and probably most of the European countries. We got more than 20,000 reviews here. I haven't counted. We have a 4.9 out of 5. That's fantastic. That, that hasn't been seen in the industry, but even if you look at normal e-commerce, which we often consider not being as tricky, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's outstanding, the 4.9 out of 5. And, and so we're really proud of making our customers happy. And that's what we're rolling out across Europe, online and offline. Thanks for your attention.